Wow. Is that it? Should I, dare I even take the chance? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move him out of the way. Physiac right as he hits me. Double physiac. Wait, do I have double? No, well, I have. Okay, well, I know what I can do. That's fine. Falcon. Foolish humans, you dare disturb me while I slumber. Oh, how you will regret it as you die, slow, painfully writhing in the fires of the inferno. Except, no. Goddamn. Wow, that's like, it like cuts off. Fortify. And then, physic. Perfect. Can I just like, I can't eat, I can't, this doesn't, oh, it does do, oh, but I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure I need to do the final blow with him anyway. Really? I only hit once this way. Die you and die you. You. And my last level up, probably. Good old Beck. What else do I have? I think that's good. Oh my, he gets quite a few HPs. But I think I got it. I got it! And he's down! Yeah. Defeated again by humans. Know this, Altaian Prince. That light which surrounds you is only a temporary respite. So long as the darkness in your hearts continues to sustain me, I cannot be destroyed. <laughs> Oh god, I'm dematerializing. Oh shit. Dear lord. Oh, okay. <laughs> Epilogue. After Medius' demise, Thor would relax his shadowly grip on the land and fade into obscurity. The empire was finished. The fires of all that had raged across Arcadia would die, and light would come take darkness' place. But before any of that came to pass, there was a few moments of Ma's tale that needed telling. Mirth, you did it. You're finally over. I've waited a long time for this day, and now that I'm entirely certain to do what to do with it. Mirth, um, we haven't talked much since leaving Talias, but I thought, do you know where you'll be going? To Altea, of course. Well, war has left my kingdom in shambles. I cannot waste another day. I must return to help build. So I suppose that means you'll have to bid Talia's farewell for good. Don't be silly, Cadia. I don't need to go th thank your father and tell him the fighting is done. I will at least need to, yeah. My father? Martha, I'm not asking you about my... Never mind. Please excuse me. He is so oblivious. Mari, did you... did something happen? I passed Sadia and she looked heartbroken. No, well, we, we were just talking. And she asked me, Oh dear. Haha, <laughs> oh Marth, you stupid asshole. How can a man who faced a shadow dragon so desperate to avoid facing his own feelings? Uh, my what? I don't even know what you're talking about. I legitimately think he doesn't. <laughs> you wish to send Sedia home, Talias, and then return to Altea home? Is that what you want? Well, that's where we both belong. I don't see what my wants have to do with anything. Clearly not. Marth, if you have anything to say to Sidia, say it now. Love cannot always make the leap from heart to heart by itself. Sometimes you must speak it out loud and give it wings. Surely a great leader like you can muster the courage for that. Hmm. I suppose. I'll give it a shot. Sidia, might I, uh, have a moment? Hmm? I did not speak my heart before. When I said I would go to Altea, I... Well, I had meant I'd hoped you would be at my side. Huh? As you said, I have not spoken much since Talias. As with you, I have never felt to say a word. As if the battle started to take its toll, you were always there, close by. I would see you there, my beauty, um, uh, uh, um, so brave. And I would, um, derive, yes, derive great strength. Derive. Uh, 
Why is this so difficult? City, I'm just trying to tell you I... Martha, shh. Me too. Me too. So concludes the tale of Falkion, Blade of Light, Moth, its wielder, and the battle of the... With the Shadow Dragon. Here in the events have been chronicled that none may ever forget. Da -da -da -da! Victory to aggression! Prologue, turn 8. Time, 5 minutes. Prologue 2, 6 turn, 5 minutes. Prologue 3, 9 turns, 11 minutes. Oh, it's going up the left because it's, <laughs> it's next to each other. 9 minutes, 18. Chapter 1, 48 minutes. Chapter 2, 48 minutes. Oh yeah, I grinded there, so it was like 131 hertz. <laughs> what the fuck? Chapter 3, 12 minutes. Chapter 4, 22 minutes. Chapter 5, 39. Chapter 6, 35. You can tell which ones I have like more turns on. You can tell. Chapter 7, 37. Chapter 8, 33. Chapter 9, 22. Chapter 10, 41. Chapter 11, an hour and two minutes. Chapter 12, 33 minutes. Chapter 13, 19 minutes. The Land of Sorrow, Chapter 14, 29 minutes. Chapter 19, oh, 27 minutes. Chapter 16, holy shit, an hour and 39 minutes, 183 turns. Chapter 17, 29 minutes. Chapter 18, 35 minutes. Chapter 19, 18 minutes. Chapter 20, 31 minutes. Chapter 21, 14 minutes. Chapter 22, 27 minutes. Chapter 43, 34 minutes. Chapter 24, 9, 29 minutes. Yeah, yeah. End game. 39 minutes and 52 seconds in 15 turns. Wow, 15 turns. That's like a that's like a bum rush. Can you imagine just like ending an entire series in 15 turns? That was a quick that was actually quite quick. Despite the fact that I actually technically died once, but I did pretty damn good. Are we going to see what all the characters did after they die? After they, uh, yep, yeah, here we go. This is, this happens in every Fire Emblem game. What happens after? Moth returned to Wartarn Aldean and devoted all his energy to restoring the kingdom to its former glory. He was later crowned King of Altea. So many wins, so many battles. Sedia wished her father and Talius before returning Altea with Moth. The whispers of love warmed the castle halls. Gross. After the war, Jacob laid down his lance, became one of Prince Mars's closest advisors. Cain. Cain remembered, remained in Altea to instruct younger knights in the ways of the war. He was a shining example. Never he did, did he neglect his training. Abel. Abel left the army and opened a small shop. He was to be married, but in the end his fellow knights were the most steadfast companions. Ha ha! He got tits. That's the best ending. Drog. Drog was put in charge of an outland garrison. People there soon became to love their kind, but stalwart protector. Gordin. Gordin squired himself to an Arcanian knight to further his mastery of the bow. Later, he returned to Altea with his brother. Oh yeah, his brother is the uh, the mage, right? Yeah. Huh. Forgot about that. Wist. Wares. Built a monastery and spent his remaining years caring for children who had lost their parents in the war. Oh, that was nice of him. Creepy old guy taking care of children. No, it's fine. Ogma the badass. Returned to Talia's to serve its people. Perhaps his love was not his long suit. History recrains no records of him marrying. Hmm. He was gay. Bost. Briefly enlisted in the Alcani army, but later deserted to become a pirate by some accounts. Huh. <laughs> what? Bord returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he became renowned for his craftsmanship. Although this was primarily archers, and these guys didn't really do anything. Eh. Cord returned to his piece of life as a woodcutter. In time, he reowned his own for speedy work. The Chopper. Castor. Castor hurried home to his aging mother, medicine in hand. They lived modest lives. Go on, damn it, Castor. You did everything, and you lived a modest life? What the fuck? It was the back for the sea for Drellos. All accounts carefree, he departed Arcania shores for the last time. Arg, the pirate. Julian the thief. Julian gave up thievery for good and found an honest job in Mesodon. Really? So he, he wasn't like given a job even though he saved the world? 
Lena cared for orphans at a convent in Mestan, and doled out love in equal shares to all she met. Eh, that seems like what's something she would do. Navir, the badass swordsman, vanished after great struggle, but for years, impostors appeared, hoping to profit from his reputation the world round. Huh. Merrick, after having stomp out the fires of war, Merrick returned to the Cade... Uh, Kadain, where he continued his magical studies. You would just go back and go study. Guy with the gray hair. Matthias left army in favor of a dull and predictable life in Mesodon. To him, bliss. <laughs> Nya offered Hardin her hand in marriage, and he was crowned the 24th king of House Arcania. Really? Nya? Really? Wolf remained a knight of Arlius. He helped rebuild and later cap captain an elite force known as the wolf guard oh that's pretty fucking badass wolf did pretty well segard remained a knight of arulis he became rebelled later become vice captain and pillar of the wolf guard i see oh shit my fucking battery's gonna run out rochea left the army but returned to become an alternian paladin records show he resided in altania for quite a time man if my fucking battery died after that holy shit that would have sucked Vildian became to a knight of Arcalius and Aurelius and helped rebuild. As always, he was old of friends and grown to manhood first. Huh. Wendell became the senior mage of Chaldean and embarked on a journey that took him from the land in pursuit of truth. The truth of magic. Magic's real. Rickard returned home in peace, or so he claimed, even as the area experienced a surge of break-ins and purse snatchings. What the? Why are these people? We're just like save the world, and he just like sneals and shit. Bantu sealed the dragon's power and disappeared, but his wish was to live out the rest of his years in Dorlian countryside. Hmm. The hired sword Caesar. History lost track of Caesar after the war. Perhaps he found work as a bodyguard, or perhaps some country made him a general. Seems legit. Rad. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Rad fell in love during the war and gave up his sword to win the woman's heart. However, he succeeded. We shall never know. Aw. He looked pretty cool. Why didn't I add him to my team? Still single, Roger. Roger found his way back to Gruss in the end of war and reached out to many people whom he had the war had touched. It still says is still single. <laughs> Perfect shot, George. George worked diligently to be build our Kenya. Later he was chosen from the Palace of Knights to become Archer Captain. Really? Him? Okay. The Petit Princess. After studying Cardan for a spell. Princess Maria returned to Macedon to serve her people as a cleric. Hmm. The true leader, Minerva. She put all our effort into restoring Macedon to glory. All wished for her to be queen. All except Minerva herself. Heh. <laughs> uh, it uh, seems like she would do that. Me, Lois, child. Linda became entered Princess Nile's protection and became a lady at court. Anna's love. Jake helped rebel a town destroyed during the war. He and his lover Anna always dreamed of traveling to far-off continents. Uh, spoilers alert, Anna is an interdimensional being. Pfft, okay. In the nowest game. Modia honored her princess's request to remain at Arcanian Knight and later became their captain. Hmm. Spitting image. What the hell does that even mean? Dor began a short career as a general before leaving the army. Some said he he had a move was to trust it Regeer of the king to be. Huh. That sucks. Macedon, uh, Maclean left the Arcanian army without a word of explanation. He settled near the border and formed a band of watchmen. Hmm. No one knows what became of Thomas after the war, but some suggest he returned home to live in peace. Some suggest that aggression killed him because he was fucking useless. Boa. Mustache Man. Resumed his duties as Arcania's royal bishop, guiding the kingdom while its people got back on its feet. Mm-hmm. Not born shooter Beck. Beck became famous for sub uh, subjugating a group of borderline rebels who had never seen a ballista panicked and promptly surrendered. Fuck. That's crazy. Astra made Captain Arcania Free Company. He was given the sword Mercius and card for an acquired a name for himself. Yeah. Oh, he, so Marth gave him the sword. The war left his once self-assured knight, hearts and knots, but Pala were diligently at rebuilding Macedon. Maestan. I keep saying it's probably be Maestan. Katrina returned to M I'm going to say Maestan. To rebuild. Love for a certain man flamed her heart and flickered when it went unrequired. Aww. Samson continued to play the mercenary work throughout his life, but never sold his sword to any but those who met his standards. Mm-hmm. 
That's what you'd never do. After the war, Jane, Zane left without a word. It was not until later that Marth learned his true identity. Which was who? God damn it. Est fell in love with Arcanian Knight and found more happiness in a woman's life than a warrior's. That is not everyone's story. Diki lived a peaceful life with Bantu. She finally spoke finally of her adventures with Marth, even long after they had ended. Oh well, yeah, I mean, she's a dragon. She lives like a thousand years. Lorenz put Grest Prince under the throne and became his regent. But, but he and Arcania did not always see eye to eye. Hmm. Ellis returned to Altania by, with Marth. Ever serene, she stood by her brother and watched him grow into a fine leader. And the final guy, Gato. At Nana's request, Gato became an archmage of Akenia. The world never knew a better teacher. What? Brave knight for Oh, the people I didn't get. Valentine learned a way to ensure Mars escape from Atea. Sadly, no one ever heard from him again. Oh yeah, this is Frey, the guy I chose to die in the beginning of the game. Right. Right. So technically, I can't save everyone. But I tried to. I tried to save everybody. And that was a and that was a archer and mage primarily primarily run uh, ballista too apparently oh, I guess that's sort of archer I count it as archer because it's basically a gigantic archer which is pretty fucking cool I didn't even know they had that in this game I was like oh shit now I have to do this so it's the end of the game the end of the game it was a good game uh, final thoughts Pff, it's a good game I don't I don't see the hate for this game I'm, I really don't. I don't think this is any worse than any of the other games in the series, or any, maybe, maybe the other games were a little better. I mean, Awakening's amazing, but like, this was solid. I didn't think there was anything wrong with it. Maybe it was a little too easy. I mean, I died like four billion times in my freaking Roy run, but I don't know, maybe I'm just a little more experienced. Oh, well, you can take advantage of way easier in this game with the grinding. I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had a good time. I slayed a few monsters. I, I saved the world. Well, the area, anyway. I mean, just how many dragons and futures and timelines can there possibly be in this fucking universe? I mean, in Awakening, there's time travel. Like, what? There's time travel and, and universe gates? Like, Paris is one of... Ike's ancestors, and he's from the future of another dimension. What the fuck? Like, they, they literally jumped the shark on that one, but, I mean, it's fucking cool as hell, but it's just like, what the fuck? Oh, and I think it's like DLC, too. It's weird. Yeah, if I get that game, I'm gonna have to buy the DLC. At least, at least the Paris DLC. I want the Paris DLC. I just, I just want him. Why is his name Paris, though? Like, what, what is... Who who decides these names? I need to have a list of the person. He literally just puts names on a board and hits a dart with it. And that's the name of the character. Like, what is a Marth? Roy's a name. Roy is a name, okay? That's a name. That works. Ike is a name. It is. Not a very good name, but apparently they wanted to be called Ike. At least it's a fucking name. This guy's name's like worse. It's worse is, it's, it's not a name. What is that? I mean, in Japanese it might be, but it, I, I literally, I went to, I went to, on like a wiki once, and it was just, people were talking about how the names were basically just jibber jabber or butcherings of Japanese, or worse, literally just bullshit, even in Japanese. Like, you know the game, it's where, but yeah, I had fun. Maybe in my uh, Fire Emblem, what is it, seven? Let's see, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Yeah, in Fire Emblem Seven, the first one that came to America, I think I will do an, a female only run, but that will be hard because I don't know how many females are in the game and I might not be able to do it. Maybe female and magic? Female and magic is what I think I'm going for because I, I did too many archers. I did archers in the, the, the second game I played and now the third. Oh wait, no, oh, no. I did archers in the second, and now the fourth. God, how did I forget that I did Geonosy of the Holy War? Like, I did, that was like the hardest one. It was easily the hardest one. I think it's the hardest one in the series, and I beat it. 
and I had to use so many, I had to cheat like a billion times. How does anyone beat that game? It's not even fair. It's like, it's me sad thinking about it. But man, that's hard to ball. It's like, no wonder it didn't come over here. It's crazy. It's, the, it's like this whole reason that Lost Levels didn't come over here. Or Mario Brothers 2 Japanese version, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you. See you next time, but, uh, oh, well, let me just fucking, can I, what, what do I get? What did I get? I got something. You, you always get something. Can I? No. No. You know what? Let me, let me see here. I know there's a way to get new stuff. There's always a new thing. Is there's a new thing? I know there is. I get like a free character from the start. If you beat the game like 18 times, you get the final boss. It's playing hard. Oh. Oh. Hard, brutal, savage, fiendish, merciless. Do I get a character? It's got to be something. Kedia, Jagan, no, Gordine, Drog, Abel and Kane, no. Is there anything? There's like a bonus. Oh yeah, extras. Okay. No, episode recap, sound room, erase all data, Wi-Fi, play wirelessly. No, maybe there isn't. What's toggle? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I didn't even notice you could do that. So this game doesn't have any bonuses when you beat the game? That's fucking weird. Oh, look at all the re Oh, look at all the things I missed. Wow. Yeah, that's all, like all the interactions and stuff that you can do. Oh, well, see you guys next time for my next game, which is basically um, the prequel to Roy's game, which I, I always been meaning to play. I always meant to play it. It's I know it's the first one that came out, but I never fucking played that one first. I just don't know why. I never I never got past, like, Chapter 6. Anyway, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Like and sub. Have a great time. Bye-bye.